oh hi Barbie <laughs> I cannot take myself seriously <laughs> if you're dressing up as Barbie and you want to learn how to do this pink girly makeup look this video is perfect for you I'm gonna show you step by step how I created this entire Barbie makeup look I'm also gonna show you all the products I used and of course there'll be a link down below in case you want to check any of them out also down below I will be linking where I got this wig from that came with these earrings and these sunglasses so if you want to transform into Barbie with me go ahead and keep on watching all right I'm starting this video with my foundation done I have eyeshadow primer on and my eyebrows are already done so I did those first off camera just because I would say just do your base and your brows as normal there's nothing really special for Barbie in case you do want to know what's on my face for my foundation I use the NYX Bear With Me serum concealer all over as foundation for my eyeshadow primer I use the Urban Decay primer potion and then for my brows I just filled them in with the Lawless brow pencil and then used a clear brow gel to set them in place so I think first I want to get the base makeup all done then do the eyes and then maybe add some touch-ups so let's do some under eye concealer I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona high glam one because this is my current favorite concealer and then just blending in that concealer with my BK Beauty 110 brush I'm gonna start with a cream blush again I'm going for that very Barbie pink color this blush was just sent to me by Tower 28 and I was like oh my gosh this is perfect for my look sorry I'm just trying to open it so the shade is called dream hour this is the kind of shade that was super popular this year and last year like I said I have never worn this shade of pink before I'm a little scared but here we go this is a BK Beauty 109 brush oh my gosh she is pink but that's the goal today right just pink pink fun and girly so I'm kind of putting this shade literally all over my cheek I like a really blushed look and I think this will look nice with my blonde wig I'm also gonna add some to my nose again I really like that blush look but just kind of do it how you like to and then I'm gonna blend around that blush with my concealer brush that I just used under my eye and this just kind of helps soften the edges of the blush I think I'm gonna add even more blush just right to this high point of my cheekbone I actually don't hate this shade of blush on me it's very different than what I normally go for but I think it's kind of fun and cute now I am gonna add some cream bronzer to my face I'm gonna use the makeup by Mario soft sculpt skin enhancer and I'm just using that same 109 brush and just going around the perimeter of my face I'm also gonna bring some of that right under the blush and I'm not going for a super bronze look I'm just trying to add a little more color to my face since I am very very fair now I'm gonna set all of these cream and liquid products down because we want our makeup to last all night I'm gonna go in with my current favorite powder this is the Lunar Beauty translucent one and I like to take some of that on a little puff for under my eyes but then on the rest of my face I use a big fluffy brush so there's my powder and I'm just going to press that under my eye this is gonna help with any creases and again just make the makeup last all night and I'm also gonna bring that powder onto my eyelid to set down my eyeshadow primer and then taking a big fluffy brush for the rest of my face I have really been loving this powder recently I've talked about it a few times on my channel but I just find it is so smoothing and so blurring and it's just really really lightweight on the skin now I'm gonna go in with some powder face products just to really tie in the look. So I'm gonna take another pretty pink blush. This is Golden Hour by Too Faced. And again, just popping that on the cheeks. And this is a BK Beauty A507 brush. I love this brush for blush. And then again, just taking a little bit of a powder bronzer around the perimeter of my face. And I'm using the Kosas Sun Show bronzer. Now I'm gonna go in with highlighter and I'm gonna use like a white blinding highlighter. This is Rare Beauty Enlighten and right on the top of the cheekbone. All 
All right, the base makeup is pretty much done. Again, I might add more later, but let's zoom in and do the eyes. So for my eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Smoke and Roses. This palette just has some beautiful pinky shades in it, which is exactly what I want for this look. I'm gonna start with this pinky shade Angel Eyes on a Sigma E25, and I'm gonna run that shade throughout my entire crease. So I'm just running the shade back and forth throughout my crease and using the tip of this brush. Also, I wanted to point out if you don't have a matte pink shadow like this, but you did have a pink blush, your blush would work perfectly for this step in your crease. Like it's almost the same color. And also when you're blending this pink shade in your crease, make sure you relax your face so you can see it where that pink eyeshadow shows when your face is relaxed because this is how you walk around most of the time. So especially on this eye, I do want to bring it up a little bit higher. You might be like me and I just have a tendency to really like lift up my eyebrows <laughs> when I'm doing my eyeshadow, but that's really not how my face looks all the time. Now I'm going to take that same shadow on a smaller brush. This is a Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm going to run that across my entire lower lash line. And I always like to make sure that my shadow connects my lower lash line to my upper lid and crease right out here. So I'm kind of just swirling that fluffier brush I was using right on this outer part of my eye. And don't be afraid to blend the lower lash line a little farther down than you normally do. Again, this is a costume kind of look, so it is gonna be a little exaggerated. Now I'm gonna take a softer pink shade. This one is called Alone. And I'm gonna place that right in my inner crease to kind of brighten my inner crease, but also kind of blend out that pink shade. And I'm also going to blend that light pink alone shade just right under my brow. Again, I'm using this to soften the edges of angel eyes. Now we wanna put a bright shade in the center of the lid that's really gonna make the eyes kinda of pop and stand out. So for this step, you could use like a white matte shadow if you don't like shimmery or glittery eyeshadows, but I like a little bit of shimmer. So I'm gonna take this shade faithfully on my lid. It's kinda of like a really, really light pink shimmer. You can use your finger to apply this or a flat packing brush like this, and I'm using a Sigma E57, and I'm just packing this shade all over my lid. And you can also spray your brush with a little bit of setting spray and that's going to intensify the shimmer of the shadow if you are using a shimmer shadow. And I always like to go back to my fluffy brush I was using and just softly blend around the edges of that shimmer. Now I'm gonna take that whitish highlighter I used on my face and I'm gonna use that to really brighten my inner corner. And again, don't be afraid to do a lot of this because this is really gonna make your eyes stand out. Now I'm gonna do a winged liner. I'm gonna use my NYX Epic Ink Liner. If you can't do a winged liner, I would recommend just doing a basic line across your lash line with a pen liner like this or even just like a black eyeshadow. Okay, this wing turned out pretty dang good, but this is my good eye, so let's see if I can replicate it on this eye. <laughs> okay, there's a little smudge in my liner, kind of right there, but not too bad. Now, one little eye makeup trick that'll really give you that doll eyed effect, and you've probably seen it before, is a white or nude liner in the waterline, and then kind of defining that with a deeper shadow. So I'm just gonna take a nude liner, this one is by Tarte, and like I said, running that in the waterline. You could also use white for this too, something like the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil.
You'll see some people do this nude or white eyeliner step, but really exaggerate it by bringing it down even farther. And you can totally do that if you want, but I still want this to be somewhat of a wearable look. Now I'm gonna take a pretty deep shadow. The shade is almost black and on a little flat definer brush, this is a Sigma E15. And I'm gonna smudge this shadow right below my waterline. So pretty much in between my lower lashes. And that's gonna help kind of give that open eyed effect. So you can kind of see how this eye just kind of looks wider than this one. I think I do want to try a white white in my waterline. So this one is by About Face. Just want to see if this will brighten it even more. Now I'm going to take that pencil brush I was using earlier and just kind of smudge along that deeper shadow. All right, the eyes are pretty much done. The last step is to pop on some mascara and also some false lashes if you're comfortable with it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. I will be right back. Just kidding, I'm back. So I popped on my mascara just on my top lashes for now. I use the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. Now for my lashes, I think I'm gonna use the Bright Lashes Adorn. This is my lash brand. And I picked this lash because it's nice and PC. So this is a brand new lash. I have not used it before and I do always trim my lashes because this is just way too long for my eye. And I normally trim about two clusters off from the end. So I'm just gonna cut it kind of right there. So now this lash is a perfect length for my top lid. So I'm gonna pop this on. And I'm using the Duo Brush On Lash Glue. This one is my favorite. Oh yeah, this lash is exactly what I wanted. All right, I have that Adorn Lash on my lashes. I love how this looks. My original thought was I was gonna take that little extra cluster I chopped off and try to do it on my lower lash line, but these are actually way too fluffy and would look absolutely ridiculous <laughs> as my lower lashes. Cause I've seen some people do that. They would add a little fake lashes to the lower lash line again, just to like really open up the eyes. I was just trying to play around with a couple different clusters I have, but it was honestly really tricky to try to get to stick so I think I'm gonna skip that today because I do want this to be a pretty like beginner friendly and easy video to follow but I still haven't put mascara on my lower lashes yet just because I don't know if that's what I want I almost might like draw on little lower lashes or just little dots to kind of give that effect this could go well or terribly wrong we'll see I'm gonna take that same black liner I used for my wing and like just do a couple little strokes as like little lashes. Let's let's see how this looks. And I'm not going super far down. I'm kind of just going along that darker shadow. Maybe I should just put on mascara. <laughs> Okay, let me do the other eye though. Okay, so I drew seven lines along my lower lash line. That's what it looks like. But I will do mascara on my lower lashes. I think that'll just kind of help pull it all together. But the hard part is, is that you don't want your mascara to touch your nude liner in your waterline because you want that to stay nice and bright. So be careful when you're doing your lower lashes. Okay, I think I like how that looks. So that is with lower lash mascara. This is without, but with my little lines drawn, I think that looks good. All right, here's what everything is looking like so far. It is time for lips. And of course we gotta do like the classic pink Barbie lip. So I don't really have like that Barbie pink lipstick shade. Like I just don't own any lipsticks in that color. So I was trying to find like the pinkest lipstick that I own. And I think this is the pinkest one I have. This is called Daisy Girl by Lawless, but I do have a couple lip glosses that are pretty pink that I'll probably put on top of this. So I'm going to Pop this on. I am gonna add a little bit of a lip liner just to give me a little bit of definition. This would also be a great time to overline your lips if you like to do that, it'd be perfect for this look. Okay, I like that better with the lip line. I'm gonna go in with one more coat of lipstick. 
These are the three lip glosses that I have. I think this Lawless one might be the best. The shade is called Juicy Watermelon. But also this Tower 28 one. Let me swatch this because I haven't actually tried this one before. Like, is this actually... Ooh, that is a good pink. I think we should do this one. We're doing the Tower 28. This is the shade XOXO. And I do love this lip gloss formula. I was honestly so worried about the step just because I don't own a lot of lip colors that are this bright of a pink. I am so happy with how the makeup was looking right now. Like I'm so glad my vision has come to life. But now obviously I need a blonde wig and some of my accessories. So let me show you what I got. So I found this whole little kit on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. And I just thought this was perfect. <laughs> Are you ready for this? So we have a beautiful blonde wig, long blonde hair, which I have never been in my life. <laughs> it also comes with an invisible nylon hair net to like hold your hair down in place. And then this set was supposed to be like the cowgirl Barbie. So we also have these sunglasses, a little bandana and some earrings. So let's get barbified. <laughs> Is that a word? Sure. Okay, but first I pulled out the only pink item of clothing that I have that was actually in like a pile to give to Goodwill because I never wear this. It's just a pink bodysuit, but I wanted like the pop of pink. So I guess let's start with this little hair cap here. Oop, there's some nice visual instructions on the back. I mean, it should be pretty easy with my short hair, so I'm not too stressed about this part. Okay, so like put it around your neck. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's like a tiny sock. This is supposed to go around my neck. <gasps> I got a big head. Oh boy, okay. I just did my makeup. Okay, do not mess my makeup up. <laughs> I'm so sorry you had to see that. <laughs> so now we're gonna go back over. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that's like pretty long. Okay, well, let's get my ears out of this. Okay. I mean, again, I have short hair, so I feel like I kind of have an advantage here, but that's that's nice. And it does get decently long back here where you can get all your hair up there and kind of tuck it in. Okay, now for the wig. It has clips in here too, I think, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Oh my gosh. Am I Barbie? One thing I hate about wigs though is like the hairs just get everywhere. Um, I don't want the glasses to like mess up my makeup, but like a little, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, let's look at these little star earrings here. So they're like pretty long and dangly. I mean, I have to do the full effect, right? Okay, cute. Okay, wait, now how do I put on the bandana? You just like tie it around your neck. So it looks like this. Again, I'll link this whole little set down below for you if this is your vibe. Don't you fold it into like a triangle? A little triangle, right? And then kind of like, no, that's like a bib. I don't know how to tie a bandana. Maybe I won't do the bandana, but. <laughs> okay, so now I literally look like a whole new person. Perfect. And let's just look at everything makeup wise. I mean, my blush still looks really good. I mean, I, Ooh, itchy. I am gonna add a touch more blush because why not? And this is it! <laughs> All right, I'm kind of far away here so you can kind of see the whole effect. My little bodysuit, I don't think cover my nipples here. I really need like a push-up bra, you know, get that full effect, but you know, we don't have to do that. Here we are from far away, put my little glasses on. Ooh! <laughs> I'm having so much fun right now. <laughs> I had so much fun filming this video today and I'm so happy that the look turned out kind of how I envisioned it in my head. If you're gonna be Barbie for Halloween this year, I really hope that this video helped you out. And if you are being Barbie, let me know which Barbie you are. As always, I'm gonna link every single product I used today down below, including this whole little Amazon accessories wig set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs>